Let's think about how many passwords and usernames that we all have. Microsoft says it's come up with a way to log on without all those passwords. Team 12's Trisha Hendricks takes a look at how this will work and whether or not your information can still be protected. So many internet accounts, so many passwords. And how many times do you forget and have to reset? Microsoft's solution, do away with passwords altogether. The company announcing users can instead download the Microsoft Authenticator app to their smartphone and use a security key or verification code. Another option, to use Windows Hello, which scans your face, iris, or fingerprint. We protect... Uh... You know, internet users. Dr. Fish Wang teaches computer science security courses at ASU. I lead a team of students to uh, find vulnerabilities in software so that they get fixed. He says passwords are supposed to protect your privacy, but there's one problem. Your passwords are very likely to be weak. Many still resort to those easy to come up with passwords. Like 123456. 81% of the cyber crimes Microsoft has documented are related to vulnerable usernames and passwords. Microsoft is trying to do their best to find the right balance. This is Apple urges all users to update the software on their devices as soon as possible after a cybersecurity lab found a new security threat. That vulnerability is pretty powerful. As soon as you receive a message from the attacker, whether you read it or not, your phone or app can get hacked immediately. If you're not careful, sooner or later, something bad will happen to your devices or to your, to your systems. So keeping our software up to date is something he says we should all be vigilant about. Regardless of what devices you use, Dr. Wang says these companies are going to continue to try to stay one step ahead of cyber criminals to keep users as safe as possible. Trisha Hendricks, 12 News.